Singular's Composer gives you the tools to create stunning overlays with impressive animations, powerful controls, and live data integration. But how do you get from a blank page to a full set of overlays? Here's a step-by-step -step guide to get you started making some basic overlays. First, create a subcomposition for your first overlay to live within. Click the Add dropdown, then select Subcomposition. We'll rename this to Lower Third with Image. Next, you'll want to add this subcomposition to a logic layer. This will prevent overlays from the same layer from overlapping when played back to back in a control application. Open the Composition Navigator and enter the name of your desired layer. In this case, we'll call it L3. Now it's time to build your overlay. Navigate into your subcomposition by clicking the arrow on its layer. Then, start grouping together widgets to build your desired overlay. Once you're happy with how your overlay looks, you'll want to add control nodes to make it functional within a control application. To add a control node, use the Node Link browser. Simply click on the specific property you want to control, enter a name for the control field, and click Add. You'll see the new control node appear in the Data Interface and Control panel in the lower right. You can test the connection here by entering in new values. The final step in building your basic overlay is adding animations. Click the Animations tab to view a timeline of each of your elements. Typically, you'll want to assign animations to entire groups, but you can also give individual widgets their own animations. To add an animation, click on the icon on the left of the timeline and enter in your desired properties. You can select a different out animation by clicking the Two Timelines button at the top of the panel. Test your animations by clicking the In and Out buttons below the output window or by using the Composition Navigator. As you get into more sophisticated overlays, you can try experimenting with adding behavior animations, update animations, and events to your overlays. Now that you've finished your first overlay, repeat the same process for the remaining overlays you want in your composition. Once all your overlays are done, it's time to get your composition into a control application. From your dashboard, create a new Studio Control application and open up your composition. As you add your overlays to your playlist, notice how they are organized based on the logic layers you assign to them. Test how the control nodes and logic layers are working.
Now you're ready to start streaming with your first composition.